Why am I doing this? How could I make this bid on this combo? I'm just doing it one time for fun. Yeah, it's okay. Guys, I'm joining one of the many dark sides of Destiny PvP. I'm going to be using the Mountaintop Recluse combo. But first thing, I just want to let you guys know that I got the Iron Burden little emblem thing. It's a triumph and it's got 2,569 kills. You need 2,500 to unlock it. The reason I did it was because I needed something to do other than quick play. Is it worth it? Not really. I think the emblem is kind of average, but hey, you know, we got a cool little achievement, right? If you want any tips, um, some advice on what weapons to use and how to approach the maps or game, I'll leave that at the end of the video after the live commentary. But back to the build, we're going to be using Striker with Inertia Override so we can slide over special or primary ammo and auto reload whatever weapon we have out. Also going to have Rally Barricade, so in case I want to spam at somebody, I can do that pretty easily. And the first weapon is going to be Mountain Top. This is a pinnacle grenade launcher that shoots in a straight line. If you guys want any tips, you know, I made a little guide on how to get this weapon, Luna's House, and NF in a certain video, so check that out. Also going to be using Recluse. This SMG is crazy on PC, man. The bullet registration, and you know, due to the lack of recoil, this thing is actually really, really, really good on PC. Now, I understand if you guys on console don't really, you know, get why it's really good. As, you know, all you guys have a lot of recoil and the bloom and all that stuff, right? But on PC, let me just tell you, you'll see for yourself. This thing is actually pretty nuts, and that's all I can say. Anyways, since we're already kind of going with this combo, we might as well just attach whatever grossness we can at this point we're going to be using wordcliff coil and one-eyed mask um, we're also going to be using a grenade launcher scavenger on our gauntlets and our titan mark but that is pretty much it this is one of those few builds just these two weapons that i run into that man nothing really triggers me in this game you know spectral blade spam i was like resident sleeper i was going like but this one's like bro i'm escape exit desktop let me just get off type of thing <laughs> But I'm not here to bash. I'm just here to have fun and try it out myself, you know, enjoy it and see what it's all about. If you guys like anything in the video, definitely drop a like to support me and let's get into the live commentary. Capture and defend, Guardian. Here we have Wormhaven Control. Oh man, I hope the enemy team is ready. This map is actually really good for the ranges that I'm going to be using Mountaintop and Recluse. We're going to start things off by just running straight towards these guys. You know, nothing enemy too complex zones. here. Throw a grenade there just in case anybody decides to slide towards my general direction. I'm already a little bit tagged up. I could easily just jump over this area and get a mountaintop explosion on both of these players actually. Oh no, I almost got to live through that. I'm surprised I wasn't able to melt one of those two guys immediately. I guess I probably didn't hit my grenade launcher as well as I had hoped. This player is going to be using Ace of Spades this match. Enemy so we ended up getting that kill. Feet. Got some more bridge shield and health region. Okay, going to attempt to get into another fight with one of these guys. Got some special ammo. Yes, please. Give me that special. So I continue to do the thing where I spam grenade launcher. Or just... Get rid of this rocket ammo immediately. Got some extra damage on our explosive. Let's see if anybody decides to jump towards this general direction on the bridge. Oh, you're one shot. Are you scared? Did I'm gonna run at you? I'm gonna get my grenades. We'll throw this on this direction in case anybody jumps up. They should receive some damage. Oh, that didn't work apparently. Shooting the grenade with my recruit. That looks like the majority of the enemy team is starting to funnel towards the right side. I have to be careful here. Because I can get collapsed. Like oh, I'm probably gonna go down there. Yup. I made the mistake of missing my mountaintop shot. I ended up shooting behind him when he was running towards my direction. Which is not the correct travel. Anyways, enemy player is going to be behind. getting that power ammo there. Got the one shot kill. There's going to be a couple players on the right side. Ooh, nice shots. The Ace of Spades player is definitely going to be a main issue here for the team. As he's just going to be picking me off as I'm just trying to jump around the air. But that's okay. That's okay. You know what? 
Because that just gives me more reason to just run at him with a grenade launcher. Like, you want to use a prime, eh? Nah. Nah. This is the... This is a... Fuck your primary loadout. <laughs> Hold on, we got a couple players on the right side. We got perk. Oh, do you want to use a primary? Yeah, you better run. Oh, it's going around to my teammate. Actually gonna get him too. Can a one-man barrage and actually get me? Even though those blades are on the wall. Rather than on my body, as I had seen. Anyways, we got some power ammo. It don't seem like any of our teammates are too interested in playing for it. So we have the Ace of Space player once again. <laughs> hey, it brings a smile to my face. Shutting down a player that's trying to use his primary. Like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you wanted your primary? I'm sorry. Attack that player a little bit. Oh, you want to use a primary? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, rip. I just grenade launcher myself. See, the loadout is so strong that often you're gonna kill yourself in the process. Nobody spawned in here. There was just that one player. So we're safe to just continue to go back towards middle. Don't be captured. You have zone advantage. I'm sorry. <laughs> the fries. I want to use the primary fries. <laughs> Players on the left side. Let's keep an eye on that power ammo. We're gonna just jump in the air here. Oh, someone got some grenade or a uh, heavy ammo there. Hold on, there's a guy on top of me here. Five minutes remaining. Let's just rotate to a different direction. I don't even think I can protect that power ammo there. I don't see any radar ping, so I'm gonna take the opportunity here and just snitch that war cliff. Player on my right side, see the radar ping. Hoping I don't have to use the uh, rocket here. Now hold them. Well, he's pretty weak, no shields. We got the assist for that Zone sweet. Now the enemy managed you to get a flag. Now you're fighting with heart. And they're getting a double, double down, down there. Yeah. We'll just, That's why you know, we do the, the very skillful act of just, you know, <laughs> shooting a rocket. Let's get a little bit of high ground here. Ooh, had to backpedal a little bit there, seeing the other guy at the teammate support. I'll put a lightning grenade. Ooh, he's pushing me! Let them come. I didn't think this he was going to. And now that we wiped these guys, we can go back to the other enemy spawn. We got the power ammo coming up as well. We could, you know, make a super play here potentially. It seems like our teammate has that cover though, as he had to use a play barrage. We'll do some more war clip action here. Oh man, this is what? Ha you must be wondering, dude, what happened that made Frost just use such a loadout? Well, well, I ran into it a lot, and. It didn't let me use my primary. I tried to try to use my primary, but it couldn't. It was very sad. Three minutes. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god, dude. It's toxic. You're dominating the field. Don't let up. And gross. I'm sorry. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, dude. <laughs> I can actually spam with the barricade. 
Oh no, we gotta run out of metals. Oh no. What did they do to the skill gap? Oh no. All right, we went down. Thank goodness, bro. Cause if we kept going for a kill streak right there, I was about to lose my mind, man. Oh no. You're, you're never gonna get me to use this loadout ever again. I feel bad. <laughs> careful, careful. Oh, we got one of them. These guys have three supers. That's one striker going off. They probably have a blade barrage or a goldie, something like that. There's a blade barrage is down. Our teammate ended up popping a sentinel for that. We got free kills right here. Oh, that's an enemy striker. I'm out. That's an enemy spectral blades too. Oh my god, the striker's coming straight after me. It's a friendly tether actually. Ooh. Almost I didn't see this guy. We'll go back towards mid map right now. Let's go ahead and pop a barricade here and you know do the thing when we're doing the grenade launchers. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. We can spam away this angle here. Oh, it doesn't seem like the player wants to push. Smart! Keeping your distance. Oh gosh. Let's put another barricade over here. Player on our left side, potentially. Oh no. Every time I get a one shot kill, I just feel so gross. <laughs> yup, go back to spawn, man. I get it. I get it. I get it, man. This is gross. Oh my. You're you're never gonna get me to use this again. Never. <laughs> oh no. What what happened, bro? What is this combo? <laughs> what is this combo? Oh no. <laughs> I'm done. Uh, hey, I'm gone. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. So you made it to the end of the video. Thank you. Now I'm going to give you some tips real quick to not make this video super, super long on how to get some iron burning kills in case you want to grab for the emblem yourself and give it a shot. But anyways, the most successful combo that I had was using Duke, a high impact hand cannon. So that'd be nice. I used mind benders, a high impact shotgun worked really well for me. Apparently, using precision frame shotguns like Dust Rock Blues and Retilt, they did not, you know, yield any uh, one-shot kills. Now, I used Hammerhead for a good portion, and I had to try really, really hard to try and get into, you know, gunfights that I could win and get a lot of kills. See, there's like a benefit, right, with machine guns. You can get several kills sometimes, but unfortunately, when you're underleveled, it gives the enemy player an opportunity to basically get in a gunfight and just note you right away, you know, yielding to less machine gun kills. So... I ended up going work cliff coil this just easy mode kills you can get two pieces three pieces guaranteed kills which is great now you can obviously use whatever exotic you want on whatever class i'm not going to really go too in depth on you know what supers to use i'll let that for you to come up with but yeah i found hand cannon high impact high impact shotguns to be pretty good i would you know use a high impact sniper as well i know you can get headshots with them but that is ultimately up to you because if you want to play slower play the, the frustration level of you know getting aped by whatever Whatever, you know things are in your games then you know you could deal with that uh, ace of spades would be a decent option but the reason i didn't really like it too much was because normally you don't have memento mori you have to proc you have to get like what four shots on somebody to get the kill and then if even if you do there's that likelihood that you could you know get out gun because you just die so quickly you can get shotgun or people just don't want to challenge you because you know whatever reason so I just found them more consistent using a hand cannon that didn't need me to get a kill first to proc the extra damage but obviously everybody has different experiences and try that out now oddly enough there is the mountaintop and recluse combo and i ran into a lot of low level players one-shotting me even though i'm higher than them with that combo so if that's something you're interested in using go for it you already saw a little bit of a glimpse on how to basically use the combo 
so definitely try that out but in terms of power level i'd probably drop to like 590 and 587 was probably the lowest i went i did have a couple players below me but at that point you're kind of risking um damage against high level players that are like 700 and stuff like that so keep that in mind but that's pretty much it i hope it helped and again thank you for watching the video i'll see you guys next time peace